Welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at my British rifle platoon, or rather my British and potentially Commonwealth rifle platoon, that I've collected for the Chain of Command set of rules by Two Fat Lardies. The miniatures are all, I'm pretty sure, no they are definitely all, uh, from Warlord Games, a mixture of their plastic and metal figures. Uh, and as you can see, I've collected a uh, Platoon Plus because of the support options required for Chain of Command. So in the centre you've got the Platoon HQ, and then behind it and to the left you've got the three different sections. Each of the sections is ten men, with a Corporal armed with a Sten Gun, uh, a Bren Gunner, and there will also be a Lance Corporal in there, whose only distinction is his... Uh, rank stripe on his sleeve, otherwise he just looks like a rifleman like the rest of the section. And there's a second section just behind them there that's identical. It might be slightly difficult actually to pick out the rank slides because of their drab colour against the battle dress colour. And as we pan across, there are the two snipers, um, the first of two Piat teams that I've painted up, and in the centre there you can see the platoon commander in a slightly commando comics uh, dynamic pose with both his revolver and his Thompson, and then the platoon sergeant with a Thompson as well. I'm aware that um, it's more of a Canadian feature to have a Thompson than having a Sten gun, um, and as you can see the corporals in all the sections have got Sten guns, but I chose to put Thompsons on just for a bit of artistic license, perhaps they acquired them from somewhere as a preferential weapon, and also enables me to sort of narrative in my head if I decide that this is a Canadian platoon for example. And that was the other Piat and the two-inch mortar. We've got the Vickers um, machine gun team here. There's a five-man team for the rule set. and I've just chosen to mount two on a base for diorama purposes. These eight figures are actually um, additional figures to represent uh, recce teams for the um, Bren carriers that are a support option in the lists. And there are a couple of Bren guns, a two-inch mortar, and I think a sniper rifle mixed into there with the... Uh, corporals and their submachine guns. These figures are a few spare riflemen and also metal figures representing different engineering tasks. And then there's the three inch mortar in the back corner there as well, for which um, there's no real purpose in the game because you only have light mortars on board, but I wanted to model it anyway. And then finally the six pounder anti-tank gun at the back there um, with all of its crew. Um, the metal figures that are next to it could be uh, a forward observer team, um, rather than acting as the gun crew, and I can use spare riflemen from anywhere else if they're not being used for a different task to represent the gun crew. What I should point out is that I didn't actually do the majority of the painting on these figures. I sent them to uh, James Brewerton at Exiles Painting, and he did an excellent job in turning them around to a, a really good standard, and in very quick time as well, and was very patient with my various requests and instructions. And then when I received them, all I did was add a few details put on the rank slides um, and the unit patches and insignia and, and things like that, and then I did the basing. But he did the absolute bulk of the heavy lifting for the collection. And I, and I think they turned out really, really well. Um, by the way, I would, I would totally recommend um, Exiles Painting. If you uh, want to get any commission work done, I'll provide a link to it uh, in the description below. And finally, I'll just show up here uh, my additional section, which is a support option in the rules, which are some Royal Marines commandos um, that I painted, and I uh, tried as best as possible to copy James's style and um, colour choices in doing so. I think they just about fit in, um, but I think I probably went a little bit paler on the flesh, which is a, a common mistake I made early on when painting bolt action figures, actually. The same is true of my um, German figures as well. More of them to come in a separate video later in the week. So that's the whole collection. Uh, I hope it's of interest to segued away from my Napoleonic collection into World War II. Um, hoping these miniatures will appear again on the channel as I hope to record some chain of command games uh, and possibly also the Operation Martlet pint-sized campaign at some point in the near future. If you're enjoying these showcase videos please let me know in the comments below and I'd invite you to have a look through the channel catalogue to see if there are any other bits of my collection that you like the look of that I've put up on video so far. In the next video we'll be looking at my 28mm World War II Waffen SS platoon and its support options, again for chain of command, so look forward to that. 
In the meantime, I thoroughly recommend going to check out James's Exiles Painting YouTube channel. And in the meantime, happy hobbying and thanks for watching.